meet my mentor turned friend Veronica Sanchez. I think what I saw in you was very unrefined raw talent. And so you just want to take that semi diamond and polish it off and guide you in the right direction. <laughs> she played a huge role in helping me develop my reporting skills. I love telling stories. I love writing. And if I can make an impact along the way, then that's just cherry on top. The Emmy-winning journalist delivered the news for a total of 18 years, coming to Phoenix after paying her dues in Fresno and Las Vegas. I covered every story I possibly could. I was an advocate. I got money back for people who needed it. I even got to anchor a little bit. But in 2015, Veronica decided to leave the career she worked so hard to build. I had had a child. I had been divorced. The business is not really conducive to families or flexibility. I also had a particularly horrible manager, female manager. And there comes a point in every journalist's life, unless you're lucky enough to do it until you retire, you do have to make a change. Change for Veronica looks like this. She is now the Director of Communications and Community Engagement for the Cartwright School District. When everything was official and I got this job here, I was at home at night by myself and I sobbed like a child. Not because I missed it, but because I was so happy that I had given my profession everything I could have given it. And I had no regrets. Veronica says it's taken some time to become fully adjusted to her new tasks. I was concerned about the marketing and the advertising because that is something that they don't teach you in journalism school. I didn't realize that marketing is just another way of telling a story. And she's finding it difficult to let go of certain habits. I still work through my lunch 70% of the time. I still have that gut reaction to take care of it immediately because my brain is still working in that the story is at the end of the day, I gotta go live. But Veronica's end goal has always been to be a storyteller and she continues to do just that. Except my stories are different. They involve children, which is like so rewarding. And the education of children and more to the point, the education of underserved poor minority children. And best of all, she says she can't complain about her new schedule. My favorite time of the year is two weeks before Christmas because I don't have to come to work. I put on my slippers and I bake cookies for two weeks. Veronica hopes sharing her story can encourage other journalists looking to make a similar switch. Storytelling is effective in every single profession. Never doubt the storyteller ability in you. And she advises hiring managers to take a serious look at candidates coming from the newsrooms. I think journalists are the best employees you would ever hire because they understand time management, they are wonderful multitaskers, and they get the job done. In Phoenix, Christine Lee, Kimbap TV.